Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Devontae Smith now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Wide open is Watkins. He's got it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Boston Scott, his first carry. Powerful running. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. He was out there waving his arms. Well, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going. And he is in till he is on touchdown. Jalen Hurts. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Elliott Good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And what a return, great field position all the way out to the 48 there. So here are the Panthers under head coach Matt Rule. And they'll be led by their 5'11 quarterback and a mobile one at that from Temple. It's P.J. Walker. This is a guy who truly believed in himself coming out of Temple. He bounced on and off practice squads for three years without an opportunity. And his big break, it came in another league. The unofficial MVP of the revived XFL led his team to an undefeated record with 15 touchdowns, only four interceptions in a shortened season before the league folded. A little bit on the small side, but he showed in his journey outside the NFL, he has what it takes to lead a team. Forced out to his left. Got a man, that's Rashard Higgins. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. A big play that time through the air, 30 yards. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Walker's throw complete there to Thomas. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run here with Hubbard. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Second down and goal. Walker eluding the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to have him here at their own nine-yard line. He got out 
outside the pocket there trying to improvise, and he was calling for the ball downfield, but still the interception. I think what happened, he did call for the ball thinking that he was open, but I think the quarterback spotted him too late, and that margin that he had on the defenders, that got eaten up, and they came up with the interception. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it a second down. Here's Hurts to throw. Got an open man, it's Scott. And he'll go down after losing yardage at the 10. It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And they're going to face a third down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing his Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. He's got a man complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Flush to his right. And that is going to be called in one-handed. Wow. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, 32 yards. And the Eagles add on to their lead. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Flushed out right. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Walker steps away to his left. Looking long for Thomas. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. P.J. Walker as the first half is winding down. And the Panthers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Gonzalez able to tack on the P.A.T. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going deep for Brown. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. So, and okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're gonna get right back to it. 
The Panthers going to get the football first, trailing here as well as we resume play in this second half. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And out across midfield, down to the 45. A big pick up there on the scramble. Partner, it's often that man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield, those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. First down, Walker. He gets it to Thomas. Three yards the gain there, second down. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options, and completing the pass anyway. Off the play fake, Walker. They'll roll him out right. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. DJ Shark, 26 yards. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and that will tie our game here in the third. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change their mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big play that time on the catch and run. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Scott. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Two yards the loss, second and 12. We are off to the fourth quarter here on this special Christmas Day broadcast. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 12. From the gun, here's Swift. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. 
Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 21-14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the result for Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Jackson now to return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So now the Panthers down on the scoreboard. At time, a huge factor. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Being chased out left. Able to connect with Shark. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Back to throw. Let's it fly for Thielen. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Once again, it's Swift. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? It appeared to me that he'd totally forgotten that he needed to stay in bounds. And then the last thing, oh no, I better, I better get down. And he ended up doing the right thing. But at that point, maybe close to let this slip away. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the handoff, this is Swift. And some space here. Oh, a heck of a oh, move. Man. And he's going to get this deep on the Carolina side of the field. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And they'll get him down right around the 16. On third down, here comes Swift. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. So fly Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And they were spurred on by a strong...